<laughs> I smell freshman. Oh shit. I can't wear this. Wear this. Gotta get out of here. Treva, can you call my mom? I don't know where anything is. What's your number? Wait, Treva. I got this one. Hi, my name is Jason Smith. I am the principal at Greenham County High School. I uh, just want to share a couple of things with you guys about myself, uh, just a little bit, and then talk more about the school. Um, I'm a 1992 graduate of Greenham County High School. Uh, I've been here at, at, at the high school for 17 years. I started my career actually in Ohio and worked three years there. Uh, so next year, uh, when you guys get here, will be my 20th year in education. I started out as a social studies teacher and spent 11 years in the classroom, and I've been a uh, high school administrator for the last eight years. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background about our school, uh, next year when you guys get here, we'll have 865 students in the high school. We'll have 44 teachers and two assistant principals, Mr. Wilburn and Mr. Keaton. Uh, I want to also share with you guys something that freshmen really want to know when they get here. Uh, you'll get your schedule and on your schedule will be room numbers and they'll be numbered in the 100s, the 200s, and the 300s. I want to share with you guys that anytime that you have a classroom that says 100s, that will be on the first floor, uh, usually around the cafeteria area and the library. Well, once you get to the 200s, that's everything upstairs and anything that says 300s will be over in the vocational school. Uh, that's always a question that freshmen have, especially about the first week or so of school. So when you get your schedule this fall, make sure you check that out and kind of keep that in mind as you uh, learn how to navigate around the building. Uh, the school is organized in a very specific way. Uh, downstairs is primarily where most freshmen will have a lot of their classes. Again, that's uh, classrooms uh, around the cafeteria classrooms in behind the library. There's a hallway and it just goes in a big circle down there so it's real easy to navigate. Um, we Upstairs we have our math science hallway. Uh, my office is actually located in that hallway. I'm the first classroom on the right once you get to the top of the stairs. Uh, the second hallway is our English social studies hallway and again the upstairs just does a big lap. It, it goes in a big circle so it's easy to navigate as well. Uh, also want to talk to you guys about some things that we have here at the high school. We have a lot of kids. Uh, it is a big school and everybody when they get to the high school level is trying to find their pathway. And what I mean by that is we have a lot of kids that intend to go to college and we very much push our students to work very hard in the classroom and if that's their intention is to pursue uh, college once they, they complete high school we have a lot of great programs and a lot of great things that will help kids to get uh, their ACT score where it needs to be in order, in order to be able to, to be very successful when they get to college. In addition to that, we do have students that uh, seek to enter the workforce when they uh, graduate and leave the high school. And we also have a, a lot of programs for them as well. Uh, we have what we call career pathways. Uh, our vocational school has a lot of those and your guidance counselor will, will be talking to you about um, the, the, what those career pathways look like. Uh, we do have a few career pathways as part of, of the high school as well. Uh, you know, things like uh, agriculture and ROTC and computer science. Um, just wanted to share the academic side. Uh, in addition to that, we have a lot of co-curricular activities uh, such as drama and academic team and uh, beta club and we also have a school newspaper. Uh, we have a great student council that does a lot of uh, really good work in, inside and outside of our school within our community and there's a, just a whole list of uh, co-curricular activities and again we'll share those things with you guys when you get here. Uh, last thing I want to share is the fact that we do have 15 varsity level athletic programs uh, that we're building and, and we hope to continue to uh, be successful with those. Uh, I tell you about those co-curricular and athletic activities because it's very important when you get to the high school that you get involved. Uh, every student is different and every student will find their pathway once they get here. Whatever that pathway ends up being, seek out, 
opportunities and get involved with our clubs, get involved with our athletic teams, get involved with our co-curricular activities. Uh, we're continuously looking to add to those programs. So as we do that, we'll make sure we communicate that with you guys as well. Um, transitioning from the eighth grade to the ninth grade is a big thing. And you know, you're going from a school that might be you know, three, 350 kids to a school that's gonna be over 800. And that's a big change. The building looks big. Uh, it's a lot of kids. It's a lot more teachers than what you're used to. But I promise this, this is not a big scary place. Uh, there are a lot of adults here that are willing to help you. There are a lot of adults here that will make sure that your transition is very smooth and that you're very comfortable and that you're very safe and that you are successful once you arrive. Um, it will take you a couple days to figure out how this building's laid out. It'll take you a couple days to figure out how do you get from one classroom to the next. It's okay. Uh, we'll have our teachers and administrators and, and, and all those folks out in the hallways to help you. Just stop and ask somebody. Um, ask for help if you need it. And I promise after the first week or so, you'll settle right in and everything will uh, go very smoothly. Uh, welcome to Greenup County High School. Uh, if you ever need anything at all, again, my, my office is upstairs in the Mass Science Hallway. Stop by, see me, knock on my door. Um, I'll sit down and talk to you and we'll try to help you as much as we can. Again, welcome to the high school. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tammy Cooper and I am the freshman sophomore counselor at Greenup County High School. I'm looking forward to meeting all the new freshmen coming in next year. I want to talk to you just a little bit about what you can expect here at the high school and how I am going to be able to help you as a new student. Um, first of all, I'd like to kind of calm some of your fears and help you not be as nervous. Um, high school is not really a whole lot different from middle school. It's a little bigger and you're going to meet a lot of new people, but you're also going to have a lot of adults here who care about you and who are going to work with you and help you make the transition smooth. Um, I know there's a lot of things you're probably worried about, a lot of, like lockers and combinations and some things like that, but you can be sure that you will get, be getting help with that the first week of school. We're going to be here to help you uh, find your classes and figure all of those things out that you need to know. Also, I'm here for you um, for your academic planning. I'll be working with you on creating a schedule very soon for your freshman year. And we will also be working on your entire uh, academic plan for your time at the high school. Um, our goal, of course, is to prepare all of you for college and careers. And so I work with you individually and I will work with you in classroom settings to help you as you make that plan. I'm available for you and your parents at any time. If you have questions or concerns about high school, you're free to give me a call at the high school uh, even before you start here as a student. Um, I also want to let you know that um, as a counselor here at the high school, I'm not just here for the academic parts, but I'm also here for you socially and emotionally. If you have any kinds of concerns, worries, problems, maybe problems with friends or problems at home that you need to talk to someone about, you are welcome to come see me. I'm always available. My door is open to you. Um, I provide the same services that your elementary, elementary counselors provided and middle school counselors provided. So just want you to know you're going to have that same support here at the high school. Um, this is just very important that you know you're not on your own. There are going to be uh, a couple hundred kids here that are in the same boat that you are being a new student and you will be supported. Hi, I'm Ms. Armstrong and I teach world history to freshmen. When you're a freshman at Greenup County High School, the first class that you take in social studies is world history. World history will cover the years from the Black Death all the way up until modern times, if we get there. We typically leave around World War II or maybe a little bit after. Once you complete world history, you move on to your sophomore year where you take a civics class and this will prepare you for the civics exam that you need to graduate with. Your junior year is your final year for required social studies classes and you'll take U.S. history. Other classes that we have available is psychology, AP government, and other electives that you can choose from. In my world history class, we do a lot of interactive items, we do a lot of group work, um, we do use Google Classroom, which everybody is familiar with right now. 
Another class that I teach is called the History and Appreciation of Visual and Performing Arts. We also call it Humanities. This class is for anybody that doesn't want to take art or drama or band or choir, but you have to get your required credit. Um, my, the way I do it is that I teach it as a global study, so we learn about one specific country throughout the year by doing a variety of different activities. We also get to interact with students from other countries, including Tunisia, Jordan, Pakistan, and Morocco, as well as Turkey. In my classes, we work hard, we have fun, we enjoy ourselves, but we learn a lot. So expect to come prepared, ready to go, and have a great year. My name is Stacy Hamilton and I am the Freshman Integrated Science teacher. In Integrated Science, we will be covering a wide range of scientific topics such as physics and chemistry. We will do a little bit of earth space science and uh, we will also cover earth systems and some engineering. So be prepared to do lots of hands-on activities and have a lot of fun in my class. Hello, my name is Josh Coleman. Uh, I teach Algebra 1 at the high school here and this year we're going to be learning a lot about functions. We got uh, quadratic functions, some linear functions, we got a lot of factoring that we have to do. There's a lot that we do in this class and I like to do a lot of hands-on activities so uh, we can get a lot of different uh, ways of learning in this. Hello, my name is Mr. Plummer and I am a ninth grade English teacher at Greenup County High School. So, uh, Mr. Plummer, uh, what do you think a freshman should, go, should know while coming into your class? Well, the first thing they should know is they're going to have more fun than they've ever had in their life. I think you can vouch for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, they will work harder than they've ever worked in their life. We will cover more material than they've ever covered in their life. And they will learn more than they've ever learned in their life. But at the same time, they will have more fun than they've ever experienced, in an English class at least. And we just have a good time. I try to make English fun. Uh, coming to high school, it's intimidating, it's overwhelming. And I, as well as all the other teachers, do our very best to make sure it's a smooth transition and they don't get lost or scared. It turns out really well. We have a great success rate. That's awesome. Uh, what, what are some of the material that you cover? Uh, we will cover short stories, which is a lot of fun. Then we transition to novels. We read the novel The Outsiders, which everybody loves. We cover it. Uh, we do poetry. Everybody loves poetry. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially around Valentine's Day, <laughs> right? And then uh, go into William Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. And then we finish with a research paper. So it sounds a little daunting, but it is actually a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bowman, for your time. Anytime. Thank you. Hello, my name is Miss Stambo. Um, I teach freshman English. I also teach theater here at the high school. Um, every Greenup County High School student must have a humanities credit before they graduate, but thankfully we've got several different ways that you all can earn that humanities credit. We highly encourage you to go ahead and take that humanities course, either your freshman or your sophomore year, so that you've got more availability in your schedule your junior and senior year. We've got several different courses you can take to earn that humanities credit. You could take art, you can also take choir, band, the general humanities course, and of course, theater. Uh, now several of these classes do require a signature from the teacher, so you'll want to check with them before you submit that schedule form. So the theater class here at the high school is open to freshmen. Um, when doing your scheduling, you will need to get permission from your band and choir teacher. The theater class performs four plays a year. And in addition to the class, we also have our competition theater group, which is known as the Musketeer Troupe. And that practices after school and we compete twice a year. Hello freshmen, my name is Mrs. Hensley and I'm a librarian at Greenup County High School. I want to tell you a couple things about the library. First of all, we're open every day from 7.45 until 3.20. Um, every year you will receive a library card at the library. It's free. If you lose your card, I can replace it, but it costs one dollar. Um, if you'd rather not carry a library card, you may also choose to memorize your student ID number. Either way will allow you to check out books. You're allowed to check out two books at a time here at the high school, and our checkouts are good for two weeks. We have a lot of things to do in our library aside from just checking out books. We also have magazines and comic books. We have a computer lab with a printer and a colored printer. We have a 3D printer. We have a 3D pen. Um, we have a makerspace, and we have challenges every month, and other things in our makerspace like wood burning and crochet. 
there's plenty of things going on in the library all the time. Um, also, we have board games and card games. Whenever you become an upperclassman, you can apply to work in the library as a student aide. Technically, anyone can apply for this, but priority is given to upperclassmen, so it's usually seniors and sometimes some juniors. I look forward to seeing you in the fall. Bye! Hi, my name is Mr. Milby. I teach band, choir, and film studies here at the high school. Uh, the choir classes here are all audition-based. Uh, we take all skill levels. Uh, the band program performs at uh, all home football games, basketball games, and at concert festivals across the state. Uh, I also teach a film studies class for those that are interested in production and history of film. Um, all classes require very high uh, academic achievement and a lot of hard work throughout the year. Hey guys, Mr. Collier here. I'm the department chair for the math department. I uh, teach Algebra 2. Uh, this coming year I'll be teaching pre-calculus as well, as well as a media digital communications class. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about Chromebooks. Uh, as you can see, I've got these little babies all the way through my classroom. Uh, we use a full set of uh, digital literacy stuff every day in the classroom uh, that starts with Google Classroom. Uh, every assignment, test, quiz, it'll be based through Google Classroom and it really allows me the opportunity to one, provide a tremendous amount of feedback to my students and two, be able to return information back to my students in a very short amount of time than it would take with paper-based material. Uh, the great parts of it is you're not gonna be losing papers, you're not gonna be searching for things on days that you're gone from class because everything's already there. Uh, this year, I added a 65-inch screen to my, uh, into my classroom that now all of my notes are done through. So as soon as I'm done with class, I hit export. It's put to a PDF, loaded straight into Google Classroom. Miss class that day, there it is. Um, we use a lot of different things in my classroom. Um, we use telephones never, okay? So we'll just let it ring because it's not very important. But um, once you get into using Google Classroom, uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get there, it, uh, it makes it very simple. Hang on a second, let me grab it. Call your room. Yep, there's nobody there. See, that's why we don't use the telephone because when they do call here, they never talk. So back to where I was. Um, so when you come to my classroom, don't bring a telephone because we don't like them, okay? But uh, come with a, a great attitude and a sense to be ready to learn, and uh, we'll make it a lot of fun. See you guys. Welcome to the Youth Service Center at Greenham County High School. We have many things that we offer to the students at the high school. We have clothing closet, we have food pantry, we give you school supplies, we take care of shoes if your shoes tear up and you need any shoes. Uh, we are also here just to support you for you to have a place to come and feel like you can talk. The Youth Service Center offers you many different options. We have food in case you don't have enough food on the weekends. And it doesn't have to wait to the weekends. If you're hungry during the week and you don't have enough food at home, we will take care of you. We offer you hygiene products, many different kinds, toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, de uh, detergents, anything that your family may need that you don't have are not able to get it, we will help you with that. So when you get here, if you need me, I'm in room 122 in the ninth grade hall. Hope to see you. Hello, I'm Mr. Sturgill. I'm uh, one of the teachers that teaches the computer classes here at the high school. Uh, there's a chance that you might have me, definitely if you're wanting to pursue a business or a computer pathway. Uh, pathways are just uh, classes that you have to take that all deal with a certain subject. So for instance, if you're a freshman, you might have me uh, for digital literacy. After you complete your freshman year, then uh, the pathway opens up and you can take other classes. You can take Microsoft Office Specialist or you can also take uh, web design. And then after you've completed both of those classes, your junior and senior year, then you have more pathways for uh, different computer classes that you can take. Uh, you can take me for multimedia your junior year or advanced multimedia your senior year, or you can also take one of the other computer teachers and you could take classes like pr promotional apps and uh, media and you could also take like financial literacy your senior year so that way you don't have to take an actual math class with a math teacher. Still counts as a math credit but it also works towards uh, your business pathway. Thanks. Hi, my name is Miss Davis. I'm one of the agriculture teachers here at Greenup County High School and I teach agri-science. 
If you like to work with animals, play in the dirt, or be outside and build things, this might just be the class for you. AgriScience offers a broad spectrum of many different agriculture topics. We do a unit on livestock, plant and land science, environmental science, ag mechanics, and leadership. Some of the activities that we do would be to bring in livestock and learn how to show them, manage them, and care for them. We also raise chickens here at school. We also raise bees here at school. We have a garden and an orchard that we work in. A lot of our food is raised and donated to Helping Hands or Meals on Wheels, so you can be a part of a large community service project that is ongoing with our students. We also have a ag mechanics unit in freshman agri-science where we construct some project. It just depends. It always varies. It's always something different going on. We are outside a lot, so if you don't like to get dirty and you don't like to work, this might not be your best pick. But if you like to learn things about our food and fiber and how it's produced and how it gets to the consumer, then this might be the choice for you. Also, if you've ever heard of the Future Farmers of America, that is the youth organization that is connected to our class. FFA is the largest youth organization in the country. So again, another chance for you to be a part of something greater. There are many opportunities in FFA, chances for you to win money, awards, scholarships, and prizes. To be in FFA, you must take an agriculture class. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, then I encourage you to check mark the AgriScience box on your scheduling sheet. Hope to see you in the fall of 2019. So, Alex, did you have a good day today? Yes, Brecken, had an awesome day. That was great. I think you're about Raver High School, don't you think? I think so. Ladies and gentlemen, so welcome, welcome to, to Greenup County, County High School. School.